poverty alleviation, 15 million Nigerians to benefit from cash transfers. The federal government has unveiled plans to reach out to 15 million poor and vulnerable households across the country. The Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Dr. Beta Edu, also unveiled plans to establish the Presidential Humanitarian and Poverty Alleviation Trust Fund as part of measures aimed at lifting over 133 million Nigerians out of poverty and other humanitarian crises. Beta Edu, who disclosed this yesterday in Abuja during an interactive session with the country director of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Mr. Jeremy Songrana, who was accompanied by Deputy Director, Health, Population and Nutrition, Caroline J. Hood Apia, solicited the Foundation's technical and financial support towards achieving the feat. She said, We have a huge task on our hands as we speak now. Over 16 million Nigerians are affected by humanitarian crises, either man-made or natural disasters. Of course, security issues and pockets of unrest in different areas have not made this any better. Other natural disasters like the flooding, which we are presently going through, and the opening of a dam in another country, which would have its effect on Nigeria, are another call for attention to ensure that people are catered for. More so, the minister during a familiarization session with journalists said the indigents would be reached via a program domiciled in the ministry, Conditional Cash Transfer, CCT. She also hinted that the expanded social register would be used by the ministry to reach the poor. Better said, she, should, she would swing into action as soon as she gets approval from President Bola Tinubu at the next Federal Executive Council meeting. She also said plans are ongoing to unveil the full agenda of the ministry. The minister said eradicating the poverty is one of the eight-point agenda of the president. Yesterday, I was with the World Bank and we had very good deliberations by the grace of God. Once we get approval from the president, we will be reaching out to 15 million households. It is an average of 5.7 persons per household. We are presenting it at the next Federal Executive Council on Monday. And once we get approval, we will swing into action. The 15 million poor and vulnerable households will be reached through the Conditional Cash Transfer, CCT, and they will be sourced from the expanded social register. These are ways we, are in we intended to hit the ground running and eradicate poverty. President Bola Tinubu is not playing games. I wish I could tell people, the president that I know and the president I works with for the entirety of the campaign, even in his unguarded moments, even when he's joking, you can see through the passion to change this country. He is a man that has achieved at all levels. He is comfortable, he has a name, all he wants to leave behind is a legacy. He wants to leave behind a country that Nigerians can truly look back and say we have a country and dream that is achievable. She further said, we want to bring Nigerians out of poverty and provide a safety net to those who are poor. I have an illustration to buttress our plans. There's a poverty pit and there are millions of Nigerians ready in it. And there are also those around the pit on the verge of going into the pit. So our job is to give ladders to those who are in the pit to come out and for those who are going around the pit to stay away from falling into the pit by providing them with a safety net. We'll be doing this as quickly as possible. On the agenda of the ministry, she noted, We'll be coming up with our full agenda of the ministry and what we want to do for Nigerians. The target is to eradicate poverty by 2030. And President Tinubu is committed to this. That is, I don't get money. Nothing, nothing, nothing. nothing. School water is you. My school, children will go to school. No, no school fees. No, nothing, nothing. So. Now, public school, your children are there. Okay. Uh, government. So they go government. I will go private. Let me see the worry about school fees, Abi. Hey, even for the government, both school fees. So they go government. So they go private. Because so, even the ones who they go public school, they say they pay small, small money here and. That they pay past private, past private. Uh, they pay past them.
Okay, so my waiting is going to be the solution now. Where governments go feed, where go feed solve all this problem, where will they face? Na 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 na. There will be that I go bring solution. I mean, I will be me. Na there go bring solution. Come, na make everything come down. Make we feed the eat. Which sector? Okay. Which sector? It is that go feed taco first. At least for all this is to come. Like, what is it that go feed do first? First. Na the foil. Na the foil. Na the foil. If the foil come down, everything go come down. Just scatter. Now, 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 where we see was. We don't see where. Worry better pass this one. Now. That worry, time. worry, oh, now was. Didn't go what said. What's this? Mm, I know one. No market. Nothing. Nothing. How everybody got the complaint? Say, what everybody, including me, they complain well, well. Now they tell us, say, Trimbu get money. We can't vote them. Under 24 hours, where they swing and end, everything does scatter. We don't know what they do again. Uh, in some other states, they, they share right, they share all. Oh, what do you think about those 8,000 where the federal government uh, they give? People say, maybe they know as the school, school fees go increase now with uh, the university, you understand. Say, maybe they use that money, then they put for these school fees or they use work or refinery. Instead of giving 8,000, that 8,000 palliative food go finish now. So, maybe they use that money, say, maybe they put them back for subsidy. What do you think? See, about that 8,000 naira, about the palliative, me, I no believe on that. During the COVID-19, that's why they talk, say they will give palliative. At the end of the day, nobody say anything. That 8,000 naira, that is a, is a scam. I'm telling you. So, Jagaba want to scam us now. He want to scam us from that one. Me, I don't believe I'm about the other one. Don't use that one. How, the much, how, how much is 8,000 naira? Like me, now, you know how much are they feed now in a day with me and my family? You talk about 8,000 naira. What is 8,000 naira? Now much sure they buy a uh, little of food now. Say want to give me eight thousand naira. What is eight thousand naira? That one, I mean, I don't believe on that one. Thank Everything taught to us has before I be the chop three times. Now now I the chop only once. Now once I the chop now. No no joy for Nigeria. No joy. If they say three people get money. Same get money. If you enter for seats, same go use your money to uh, uh, compensate people of Nigeria like we now. Now nah, I nah, see where they. See, you I vote for Jagaba, you vote for Tinubu. I vote for Tinubu now because they say in home they say go in, in go does well. I I vote for them. Now nah, now nah, half a nothing come out to fuel don't go up now. Nah. You, nah. okay. you follow collect dollar. I no collect one naira or shishi. Okay. Shishi I no collect. Okay. I don't vote for them. Right. So I beg, I want to make you tell them, yeah. this country where we do now, my brother, see me I die, I and mean, if I die in there for the head. Straight, I don't get in there. Walk, no come. See my shop there now. My shop, no, nothing there. there. Motor, no there. Walk? I they walk alignment to walk. Alignment. Okay, so customer, no, they come now. Since customer, where? because of fuel now. Fuel, no there. Hey, where customer go, go, go push motor, come here. Nigeria hard now. Customer, go push motor, come here now. All right, my man.